voice and face behind PJ Styling. And I'm coming to you today to show you a little hair tutorial, which I haven't done in a while, so kind of exciting. Um, so anyhow, I want to introduce you guys to, well, here I am dropping stuff. This is the Phoebe Blow Brush. So um, kind of neat. It's a quarter, uh, an inch and a quarter barrel. And I have used it on this side of my hair to give me some body and some movement. This side of my hair, I have not done anything to yet. So I'm going to show you how I go about using it and how easy it is to use. Um, a few little features about the, the brush that you might want to be aware of is you can totally control the temperature settings. So this is not um, a blow dryer, so to speak. You're going to want to use this on dry hair um, or just just slightly damp hair. It could be used on as well, but I would suggest dry hair and you're definitely going to want to use a thermal product. For me, I'm using the Moroccan oil thermal um, product. You always want to protect your hair when you're using a heat styler, but this little unit is really nice. It's not too cumbersome. It has a swivel end on it, which I love. So when you're using it, it moves around quite easily, which is awesome. It goes up to 410 degrees, which is a lot of heat. I'm going to turn it down um, to probably about 350 for me today. So you're going to base your temperature setting on the type of hair you have. So if you've got the type of hair that curls really, really easy, or you're just touching your hair up from like the next day or something like that, you want to keep, keep your heat setting low. If you have um, hair that you really need to control, it's wiry, it's coarse, you're smoothing out curlier hair, you're going to want to turn the temperature up. So nice feature. Um, I like that it has the little knob on the end as well, so that when you're using it, um, you can actually hang on to that area. That's a great feature. I feel like it's a really, really well-made iron. I'm going to show you how I use it and how I got these nice fluffy curls. So it's different than a traditional curling iron. I feel like my curls are much fluffier, uh, more movement. Um, yeah, I just really, really like it. So let's do the other side. So there's three ways that you can actually, I'm gonna take my glasses off so you guys can see better, but, or I won't be able to see, but you guys will be able to see what I'm doing. They don't get in the way. Um, you can use this to actually straighten the hair or you can use it to curl the hair. Um, either way, it's, it's a nice product and I'll show you both ways. So I have already done my thermal product on my hair. So let's just, um, let's just take this very front piece and let's smooth that out for you. Um, okay, so here's another thing. When you are going about using a, a tool like this, you want to make sure that you're taking the right amount of hair, right? So take, in, take into consideration the size of the barrel. You're not going to want to take ginormous large sections, especially if you have thick, thick hair. So be reasonable. The smaller, the tinier the section you take, if you take a little wee wee section like this and you use the iron, then you're going to get um, more curl from that than uh, opposed to taking a larger section and doing more hair at once, if that makes sense. So if you're going to use it for smoothing, I'm just going to put it in and I'm going to just roll it down. It's really easy to use. And you know what's awesome? Like, look at, you guys see that? How easy and slick that is. Okay, that's, that's how great it is to use. Now, here's the great thing. Because the brush is built right into the heat mechanism, you don't need to worry about um, using your brush or your comb at the same time. So if you're not somebody that's super handy uh, with your tools like that, then this is uh, going to be a great compromise. But I am going to show you what it's like to curl with this. So just taking sections, I'm going to go in at the base and I'm just going to twist and roll and roll it down. Okay. Look at how quick and easy that was. Super quick and easy. Really nice. It is a, a ceramic barrel. It is ionic energy, which is, is nice as well. So taking another section. Now I'm going to go in the opposite way. So uh, if you noticed when I first went in, I used the curl brush and twisted back. Now I'm twisting forward. This curl is forward, this curl is back, okay? Um, I like it because, you know, I find a lot of women aren't super, like it's hard to maneuver uh, everything, right? And this is where women really struggle. 
is um, being able to maneuver their equipment. I, I know for a lot of women that want to like flat iron curl or use a curling iron, they're like challenged, right? They're like, oh my God, I just can't get it all going on at the same time. So you're gonna like this tool for that reason. I think it's really slick and it works great. Okay, so maybe I should curl this piece too since I haven't, um, I'm just gonna lightly kind of feather that back a bit. Maybe that's not a good idea. Since I've already smoothed it out. There we go. Okay, so moving up to my next section here, okay. I've already got the back section off. I'm just going to show you the front because no sense showing you the back. I can't show you guys how to do the back, but just like this. And we are going to go in. So you can find this tool on my Amazon storefront. What's really awesome about it today, guys, it is discounted both in Canada and the U.S. Um, I think it's discounted by 20% off in the Canada storefront. And it's literally discounted, I believe, don't quote me, but I think it's 40% off today in the uh, U.S. storefront. But see how bouncy the curls are? I love that, you know? Sometimes I feel like when I use a curling iron, it kind of leaves my hair hard and crunchy, and then I've got to take my fingers through it. But I like the fact that it is leaving my hair um, quite bouncy, which is nice. Okay, so just again... Just twisting in and keep moving and twist out. Really simple, really easy to use. Now my daughter has used this tool and she has got hair like down quite long, like mid back area. And I was concerned about her using it actually because I thought, oh, the barrel's so tiny. I don't know if it's gonna be too small for her, but she enjoyed it. Uh, it was just a nice curl and um, it worked out great for long hair as well. But if you're somebody like me that's got medium length hair, um, you're gonna enjoy it because it's just the right size. Like it's not too big and cumbersome. Because if I was to use a bigger uh, barrel um, brush, I would get less curl and I would get more smoothing. Now, if that's what you want, then that's cool and go ahead and do that. And some days I like that effect too, but today I'm just showing you how to curl with it. So, um, yeah, pretty easy. Nothing too challenging here. Um, but, yeah, if you want to check it out, definitely check it out today. I don't know how long the sale is going on, um, but it's a great little tool. I like it a lot. Super easy. It's really quick. So you can see that, like, the more you start using this, the, e like, the easier it is and the quicker you're going to use it, right? Oh, that one's pretty straight gonna hold it and I'm gonna twist it out just like that okay and one more section and we are done 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 okay I'm gonna just divide this panel into two you guys can see that there I'm gonna go in now if I was to come down here and hold it down flatter and straighter I'm not gonna get as much bounce right but when I'm holding the curling iron out from my scalp I'm gonna notice more curl. Does that make sense? Just play, honestly guys, just play with it. You're really not, it's so easy to use that you can't really screw it up. Okay. And just like that. Okay, and that is it, I am done. You know what I like about it too is like for this front area where my bangs are a little bit um, longer, I don't, I'm not really going to curl it too much. I'm just going to kind of um, like swoop it out so that I get a little bit of bend there, but not a lot of curl around my um, face. So that is it, guys. That is how slick um, this little unit is. It's a nice little tool to have. I can leave my hair kind of curly like this if I choose, right? Like, look at how cute that looks. Just like that. Or if you want, you can go in, let it cool a little bit. I always suggest you let your curls cool a little bit. You can go in, you can brush it out, relax the curls a bit more, and just kind of take your hands through it and have a little bit of body that way. 
So lots of playroom. Check it out. It's on my Amazon storefront. This is the Phoebe Iron. Um, I will definitely, uh, for those of you that aren't on my Amazon store right now or on Amazon Live, I'll definitely throw the link into the Facebook um, feed. And I'm not sure what else I'm on here. Facebook. And I think I'm on YouTube as well. So I'll definitely throw the, the link on there. So check it out if you're looking for something to introduce to your hair game and you um, uh, are interested in a new tool. This might be the one for you. It also comes with a little meat mitt. I didn't wear the mitt today. I'm pretty, you guys know me. I'm all about the hair. Like I, I don't need the mitt, but if you're concerned about the heat and it can burn easily, like your hand it comes with the heat mitt and it also comes with a cute little uh, travel case. So definitely worth uh, checking out. Okay guys, have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.